I was bleeding. I called for my mother. She wasn't in the house. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was suffering from cancer. What can you even expect from a child who was never taught about menstruation? Who was forbidden to speak about it, especially around men? So on that day, I didn't have any choice but to go and tell my father about this. Um, you have got your period. That's normal. That was the very first lie that he told me. Normal? It wasn't even near to that. If it was normal, then why was I shut in my room for the whole day? Why wasn't I allowed to make my rangoli? Why wasn't I allowed to celebrate like any other normal person? Well, that was just the beginning. Slowly, I was forbidden to enter the puja room or the kitchen. I was not allowed to sit on the sofas. I was called impure. I was bleeding. I called for my mother. She wasn't in the house. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was suffering from cancer. What can you even expect from a child who was never taught about menstruation, who was forbidden to speak about it, especially around men? So on that day, I didn't have any choice but to go and tell my father about this. Um, you have got your period. That's normal. That was the very first lie that he told me. Normal? It wasn't even near to that. If it was normal, then why was I shut in my room for the whole day? Why wasn't I allowed to make my rangoli? Why wasn't I allowed to celebrate like any other normal person? Well, that was just the beginning. Slowly, I was forbidden to enter the puja room or the kitchen. I was not allowed to sit on the sofas. I was called impure.